And welcome back inside the South Okanagan Event Center. It is the 2022 Young Stars Classic. And uh, pleased to be joined by Flames Assistant General Manager, Craig Conroy. And uh, we were just talking about uh, this event and obviously a great feel around the entire rink and the city about having all four of these uh, Canadian NHL clubs back. But what about from a team perspective and uh, getting an opportunity to bring your players back here? You know, it's nice. We haven't been here in four years. And to see the crowd, the crowd in the first game, it just uh, brings back all good memories, you know, and I think the kids like it. It gives them some games, gets them ready for main camp, and, uh, you know, the nerves, and I know the ice hasn't been great. A lot of people are on it, but uh, they've done well so far. Yeah, and, and also um, guys trying to work out some rust, too. I mean, it's been a long time since all these guys have played some games, but how valuable is that for the players, you know, especially guys who want to take a step and, and push for NHL jobs or push for AHL jobs just to get a few games under their belt before main camp starts. Exactly. You know, they're working out the kinks right now, so when they get to camp, they'll be that much more ready for game shape. Right. And, and as quickly as main camp is now, you have ex exhibition games there. So it's good to see the guys. And, you know, I think we're here, we're just watching, like, work ethic, are they playing their position, what we're trying to do right. system-wise. So, you know, all those little things, you're not always looking, maybe at, you want to win, you want execution, but uh, overall you want work ethic. For sure, the competitiveness, and already seeing a little bit of that, some conversations after whistles, which is one thing we've come to know about this tournament as well. Um, maybe just a thought on, uh, you know, the fact that you've got Calgary now, the, the farm team moving into Calgary and having kind of everybody all under one umbrella. How does that change things from an organizational standpoint and maybe just having a closer eye a little bit on, on your prospects and players? Well, it's great. I mean, you know, especially to have the games at home. I, for me personally, to be able to just drive down to the Saddle Dome and watch the games, see the guys go to practices wherever they practice at Winsport or wherever it's going to be, it, it, it makes it so much easier for us. And then if you get called up, you have injuries. And I think, you know, obviously with everything with COVID, if we would have had him there when we did have him there, it did seem like it was a seamless fit for us. Well, and even from a player's perspective, just feeling like even if it's a proximity, you kind of feel like maybe you are one step closer or just seeing a little bit firsthand the NHL and what you need to do to, to maybe take a step over to the big club locker. Well, it's true. I mean, and, you know, I think when they did play in Calgary a few years ago, you know, to see Daryl and to see the coaching yeah. staff up there, that gives you a little extra motivation too. So it's going to be a great fit for us and looking forward to getting started. Uh, a number of guys that, uh, you know, fans have been excited about and, and looking forward to seeing, you know, both here in, in Penticton, but as main camp rolls along. And I think of a guy like Jacob Pelche and Connor Zari and some of the, uh, you know, a couple of first rounders. But I want to ask you about a guy like Pelche and that first year in the American Hockey League, he turns pro and just sort of what you've seen in terms of an evolution of a first round pick. Yeah, you know, you never know what to expect. He's a smaller guy, but he plays big. He competes, he's hard to play against, and he's always around the puck, and he makes plays. And you're wondering if it's going to translate, how quickly it's going to translate from the junior level yeah. to pro, and he was seamless. I mean, it was amazing. He had a great year, and he really put himself in a position where this year he's coming to main camp to say, hey, I want to make this team. So, you know, that's all you can ask for. But it definitely... Uh, he didn't dip his toe in there, like Brad said. He just jumped right in, and, and he played great. So we'll see, and, he, and you can tell he's in good shape right now, so it's going to be a good camp for him. Well, I know he's just 21 years of age and a second-year pro. He's got the A on here tonight, but he, he does seem to have that kind of leadership quality to him. I know he's been a captain, and most of his team's kind of growing up as well. But, you know, do you see that in, you know, those characteristics in him? You know, it's funny. When you talk to other guys, they always melt pet, They always mention uh, Jacob, you yeah. know, they – his personality is contagious. They love him around the room. They love hanging out with him. And he's just one of those guys that people seem to gravitate to. And that's what makes a good captain. I mean, when you have someone like that. Yeah, no question about it. And uh, it'll be interesting to watch his progress this year. And just watching that first period, another guy that, you know, jumps off the page, both physically and then on the stat sheet as well as <laughs> Adam Klapka, new to the organization, signed him back in May, I believe it was. Uh, he doesn't, you can't hide him. You can't hide him out there. No, the, the, you know, once you walked in and met him the first time, I'm like, He's gigantic, yeah. you know, but he showed his hands there. He's Very got, much. he's a good skater. He's got good hands. I mean, I think he's still learning the North American game, but you know, he played in the USHL, so he's comfortable, speaks English well. I think it's going to be a seamless transition for him and it's going to be fun because you don't find guys that big that can uh, have hands like that. So it, it's definitely uh, exciting to have him in the organization. Yeah. Six foot seven. And, uh, and like you mentioned, I mean, size, you know, you can't ever have enough size. And if it moves like that, and you got hands and uh, that's, a, that's a good combination. Yeah. He's, you know what, it's only the sky's the limit for him. So yeah. we're looking forward to, you know, it's just a start, but get sure. a great first period. We'll see how it goes the rest of the tournament. 
Uh, just a couple more before we let you go and get back and watch the second period. But uh, Dustin Wolf is uh, another guy in this organization that's had a great first year pro. And uh, I know that that jump isn't always easy for everybody. We mentioned Pelche, and, and, and Wolf is another one that made that transition look pretty smooth, didn't he? You know what? He really did. It was just an amazing year for him, being the goalie of the year in the American League. And then, Stephen, it was funny because yesterday you're watching him practice. You're going to say, oh, is he any rusty? He lit in three goals the whole practice. You know, you're like, yeah. okay, guys, we got to bear down. If he can score on Wolfie, it's going to help you only make yourself better. So, But that's his mentality. I mean, I, I play with Patrick Law, play with you know Mike Vernon, Grant Fuhr. They're all so competitive, and that's what you see in Wolfie. But technically, he's as good as any goalie uh, you know that I've ever seen. Well, and, and everybody just raves about the focus and, and the confidence that comes with it, too. I mean, he, he carries himself in a way that he just expects to make saves, doesn't he? Oh, he yeah, he doesn't want any of those pucks to go by him, and I think that's part of it. But, you know, we have the thing that we can watch videos. Nobody spends more time on the iPad watching himself getting better than him. You know, because we can see who's on it all the time. Sure. And he uh, he's on it, and he wants to be the best. And that's what makes him a special special player. Well said. And look forward to seeing uh, more of him in the rest of this hockey game. Thanks for doing this. And, Thanks for having uh, me. Enjoy your time at Penticton. Thank you. The assistant general manager of the Calgary Flames, Craig Conroy, will step aside when we come back. The second period. But first, we'll take a look back at what happened in the first. 